There are many ways to prove individuality in style, but nothing proves as dominant as having a tattoo. We decided it was about time to investigate this craze and uncover the ramifications of getting tattoos and if indeed it really is a matter of obsession. Tattoo artists proved to be the implementers of this obsession, them too being drawn into the world of so-called body art. We visited a Richmond tattoo parlour and spoke to a tattooist, Jake, about his perspectives and thoughts on the matter. I was nearly 19, but I waited a bit and, uh, and yeah, finally got tattooed. To look at all the bands I used to listen to, and they're all covered in tattoos. I'm like, man, I can't wait to be like that one day. My family hated it. Uh, they probably still do hate it, and hate every other tattoo I have. I wouldn't say uh, it would be a positive thing, that's for sure. You know, just people will judge you. You know, judge, people will judge me. That's what I do, is just hang out in tattoo shops. In order to find out the extent of the tattoo craze, and what the public really thinks on this debate, we took it to the streets of Melbourne. Do you have a tattoo? Yeah. I have a tattoo. I do, I have two. Yeah, I've got one. I've got two. I couldn't think of something that I'd love to have on my body for the rest of my life. I think we're given beautiful skin. Why mess it up? Oh, it's just not for me. Once you've got one tattoo, you're addicted and you keep wanting to get more? Forget it. Keep your skin beautiful. The world is meant to be opinionated, you know, it's what the way things work. And you know, for someone to come up and say, I don't like the way you look, I'll probably look at them and say, well, I don't like the way you look either. In the hope to uncover and understand the attraction and potential for obsession with tattoos, we spoke to a hardcore tattoo enthusiast, Jay. We asked him to explain to us about his history with tattoos, his opinions, the setbacks having tattoos has caused in his daily life, and of course, if he, in fact, is obsessed. First tattoo, when I was 17, it's, uh, up in Brisbane. Tell you the truth, I didn't see, tell my mum. I told my dad I was getting a little tattoo. Came back with quite a big one on the back of my leg. A few of my mates were really heavily tattooed, like nearly full body suits. And basically I had a tab for a while at the tattoo shop. I got mine up to about three grand. So all my other mates got it up to about 10. It adds up quick, it's an expensive hobby. It just gets addictive and once you got one, you kind of start to think what you can throw on your body. It's definitely, I'd say it's an obsession over an addiction, but it's an obsession in a way that I just love, to me, what tattooing and the, and the world of tattooing that I'm involved in, you know, I, I get so obsessed with it. So we've done what we can to understand the extent of the tattoo obsession, and all that's left is to ask, is it really worth it?